a shave with the new Metaphor Razor from Phoenix Shaving coming up next. Hi YouTubers and wet shavers everywhere, it's Mark with GeorgeTune.com. I'm back with another video. Thanks so much for joining me again. I really do appreciate it. Boy, I really love these get-togethers and talking wet shaving with you. So thanks for dropping in again. If this is your first visit to this channel, welcome. Thanks so much. Look around, make yourself at home, and also please consider subscribing. Well, we're going to have a shave with a brand new razor. Let me show you what I'm going to use before I show you the razor. I'm going to kick it off with the uh, Cube 2.0. Although this is getting small and low, so I'm, I've got a brand new Cube right here. I'm going to break it out right now. There it is. This one is mentholated right there. So, yeah, I'm going to use this smaller Cube maybe for travel, uh, that sort of thing. So let me just open this guy up here right now just to get this open and get a get the get the new cube going there it is the brand new cube yeah i'm really looking forward to using that so i'm going to put that there and get that other one kind of out of the way well it'll be i got it on the stand here it'll be on top but i'll just move this out of the way when i use this but anyhow i'm gonna have to put this into a container of some kind and I'm just going to use it for travel. That'll be a good travel size. So that's what we're going to do with that. Also going to use uh, Oud Spice from uh, Phoenix Shaving. I got some hot water in the puck right now. Formula CK6, wonderful stuff. I'm going to use my uh, Solar Flare right here, yeah. The Solar Flare shaving brush right there with the butterscotch handle thanks mom got some warm water here gonna let that soak a little bit gonna finish it off with uh, oud spice after shaving cologne that's wonderful i don't have any of the star jelly in that scent but i'm going to use astro traveler because it has a warm spice scent as well i'm really looking forward to this shave because it is a cold snowy wintry day here in northeast ohio the snow is falling again and it's starting to cover the ground and uh, just a great morning just to have a wonderful, wonderful, warm, comforting shave with a great razor. And that's what I have here this morning. I have the brand new Metaphor from Phoenix Shaving. This is a 316L safety razor that is based on their prismatic razor now the one thing that's great about phoenix shaving and douglas smythe is doug does all this great research to bring these classic razor designs classic shave scents and soap scents and that sort of thing back to the modern wet shaving world i always say that if you're not doing the traditional wet shave right now, what are you waiting for? This is the best time to be doing it because of the efforts of Doug Smythe and others out there, uh, actually going back into the history record and bringing these great razor designs back, these great scents back. It's just a wonderful time to be doing a traditional wet shave. So this is a 316L safety razor. It is three piece and it's, 316L stainless steel, and it has a just a beautiful base plate and cap. I love the sculpting on this cap here. Isn't that great? But it's also part of their new flare tip series in that this tip can be unscrewed. Now, you have the option of using it as a shorter handle razor if you prefer, or you can get one of two colors of a new tip to install on there. I've got purple this time around. With the Ascension you've seen me review, with the Ascension I got red. So now it's interchangeable between these two razors. So I could, you know, switch them off, put purple here and red here, vice versa, or go with the original tips, whatever I want to do, or go with the short handled uh, feel to the razor. But we're gonna leave the purple tip on there. I'm hoping they introduce blue, a blue tip, because this is supposed to be wonderfully mild, yet highly efficient. And I'd like to have a blue tip there, 
much like the Gillette blue tip uh, because that was a mild razor and I'd like to have that that kind of look so when I look at it I know yeah that's a mild razor but for the time being purple is wonderful and I'm really looking forward to the shade so we're going to go ahead and use a shark super chrome blade a lot of viewers recommended this I reviewed them recently like them a lot we're going to go ahead and install oh I got my last blade in this carton here been using them <laughs> there you go that's evidence that I've been using them that's for sure so here is my shark super chrome blade right here let me just uh, let me just set that over here out of the way and let me that's a long threaded post there on that cap uh, let me just set that down okay here is okay let's do it like this all right try and show it on try to do it on camera here for you here's the shark blade gonna put that in there now, this is a slot and groove kind of a, a base plate and cap okay so there gonna set that in there like that all right there we go kind of you know it's kind of a little bit awkward doing it on camera okay there we go got it <laughs> all right you know it's easier when you're looking down here but when you're trying to do it doing up here in front of the camera it can be a little bit awkward okay so there we go so there we are and the blade balance and the alignment look to be spot on and I am really looking forward to this shade yeah yes spot on blade balance is spot on as I'm looking down at it I can see that the balance is right there it's gonna be a mild shave low profile razor head as I say so really looking forward to it so uh, let's let's take this hot water that's been on top of the oud spice there let's dump it in there and uh, let's wet the face and let's get to the shave okay all right brand new cube oh boy that feels man that feels big in the hand compared to what i've been using and i'm going to use this as it is prescribed or as directed on their product page just work it in and then rinse it off and acts as a degreaser and kind of a stage one prep to the pre-shave process All right, let's rinse this off. Okay, that does a nice job of degreasing, that's for sure. Okay, so now take that, go against the grain. And now we do a face lather over that. So let's get my brush right here. Let's get the Oud Spice and let's load that brush. And this is just a great scent, very much in the tradition of the original Old Spice with a little bit of Oud in there. I'm just gonna load that up. Love Formula CK6. It is just, here I can show you right here. It's getting all over there right here. Formula CK6, there we go okay love the way it loads up on the brush just really seems to give a just really coats the brush well it gives me a good brush load and from here i'm able to just do a really nice face lather i'm gonna add water to the brush well it's the wet shave right wet water add water Add a little more water because CK6 loves water. And I tend to swirl the brush a little too much. I could probably do with less and still get a great lather. Speaking of which, boom! Lather, wow! <laughs> oh man, 
absolutely wonderful and I am so looking forward to this shave. I um, woke up earlier, had a nice hot shower, did breakfast, that sort of thing, and just kind of did a little bit of research here for the for the video. Uh, went over some of the details on their product page. It weighs the the, the razor weighs three point seven seven ounces with the tip uh, installed. Either tip three point seven seven ounces with the uh, shorter handled version. When you take the tip off, then it weighs about 3.13 ounces. Uh, and again, love this sculpted head. We shut that off. The end tabs are enclosed, which is a really nice feature. So this is really going to be do a good job of getting underneath the nostrils. And also, because those end tabs aren't there, if you're going east to west, you're not going to accidentally tag uh, a nostril underneath from an end tab protruding. Not necessarily a deal breaker for me, but boy, I sure do like that in most of my razors. We're going to run under some hot, hot, hot water. Menthol's kicking in from the cube. The Oud Spice is a beautiful, beautiful scent. What a great shave to have on a winter morning like this. Ah, oh, okay, there we go. Going to run, just going to swirl in the sink here to bring it up to the proper temperature. Okay. Okay, here we go. 30 degrees, a light touch. Let the razor do all the work, gentlemen. Yeah, there is some beautiful glide there. That is nice. Let's just give you a look there of the lather getting out of the way. That is a wonderfully unique design. Uh, with a it looks like it's a it's a sculpted comb there with a channel that runs just right there to remove all that lather out of the way. Good blade feel. No tugging, no pulling. And again, the lather seems to be moving out of the way. Take a look there. See, I can see the blade there. The lather seems to be running through that channel underneath the razor so that you have plenty of blade feel after several swipes. Wow, that, that's, that is really terrific. Love the blade feel. Love the fact that it has that added weight, uh, 3.77 ounces, added weight. It has a weight of 3.77 ounces. Uh, just the nerling on the handle is very much like what I have with the Ascension razor. Okay, the Ascension knurled handle there. And here is this one here. Very similar. And uh, CNC machined also, so it's, it's very precisely machined. Now, here we go. We're because of the low profile head, we're going to go underneath the nose here, north to south with the grain. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see how far up, so to speak, we can get with this. All right, okay, let me just, yeah, did a nice job. That's, that's true, that's terrific. All right, first pass done, let's rinse. Yeah. Did a nice job getting under, up underneath there. It really did. If you're a one pass shaver, um, that'll, that's, this is a nice razor just for that. I know some, and then my, my, my one pass shaver, I'm talking about some of you, Young guys that are just starting out, and you know your your skin and beard are not that demanding. I know that's what I'm probably if I was doing the wet shave when I was 16, 17 years ago, 16, 17 years old, I probably would have been a one pass shave. And this razor head gets up under there, gets up under there nicely to remove those little bits. And I would dare say if I was doing one pass, I would 
I would do it this way and then put a little cream on and go this way here just to do a touch up and I would be done. But we're going to do a second pass. So it is very maneuverable head. That's the point. The razor head is very maneuverable. Love the low profile, love the weight, love the mild quality of it. And I do prefer razors that are on the mild side. So this is right, right in my, right in my wheelhouse. Let me tell you. Okay. We're going to go with pass number two. We're going to go east to west across the grain. That is so smooth, absolutely no tugging, no pulling at all. Combination of a great razor, a good blade, and some terrific, terrific shave soap uh, and pre-shave from uh, Phoenix Shaving in with the uh, CK6. Of course, the cube also has formula CK6 in it. This is the kind of razor, so far with my shave, this is the kind of razor that I'm going to keep for a lifetime. And it is, it's going to last a lifetime. 316L, and Doug Smythe goes into it on the product page, 316L is very corrosion resistant, it resists tea stains, very robust material. Um, I'll link to the page. You can read all about it there. Really great technical background on 316L. Wow. This is has been this has been a beautifully mild efficient shave. I think two passes and I'm done. Let me just finish up here underneath the nostril. Wow, that got it so nicely. That really did a great job. All right, second pass done, let's rinse. Well, I am done. <laughs> I'm done. However, just because I'm enjoying the shave so much, as I often want to do, I'm going to do a third pass just to kind of get a feel of how it of how the razor feels in my hand when I'm doing a, an against the grain pass. And we'll also see how much feedback we get from the Allen block because, um, well, let's just see, you know, it's a mild razor, it's a mild shave. When a razor is this mild and efficient, I can do three passes. But the shave has been wonderfully smooth, and look at that. Look at how much lather comes back. Got plenty on the brush. Man, that's just, that's marvelous. Absolutely marvelous. Okay, so we're going to go with pass number three. We're going to go south to north against the grain, quick and light and enjoyable. Yeah, on, uh, no tugging or pulling against the grain on the neck. Very nice and mild. Now, if you're someone out there that has sensitive skin or your skin borders on the sensitive side, check this guy out. This is great because my skin borders on the sensitive side and I'm not feeling any tugging or pulling when I'm going against the grain on my neck. And I love, I love this motion. I love this classic shaving motion of going against the grain. There's just something about it that just, uh, it just evokes uh, the traditional wet shave in my mind. All right. 
Just a little more clean up underneath the nostril. Did, did a, an exceptional job on the chin area. Nice, mild, smooth, efficient, enjoyable, really. Uh, third pass done, let's rinse. Oh, that, that is such a nice shave. <laughs> wow. And again, knowing that old man winter's out there and I'm inside having this great shave. Uh, I mean, it's just, ah, uh, it's great. It's just, it's, it's fantastic. All right. My two final rinses, one warm, one cold. Warm water rinse will get rid of all the excess slickness. The CK6 has a nice amount of slickness to give you a really smooth shave. Good glide, absolutely. Here's my warm water rinse. That, <laughs> that is so nice. Wow. Oh, really an enjoyable shave. I flipped into the cold side, a lot of cold water here coming out of those pipes, that's for sure. And this the menthol cube I know is going to kick in. I'm going to get a nice menthol kick. All right, here's my cold water rinse. <laughs> That's wonderful. Wow, what a kick. What a kick. <laughs> All right, clean, fresh towel waiting for me right here. Whew, that's... That's marvelous. That is really, really marvelous. That's a nice shave. That really is. I love these mild razors that are mild and efficient. As I say, the razors that work best for me are rated on a scale of about 1 to 9, 1 to 10, and about 5, like the Vikings Blade Chieftain, the 5BC. 5BC is a little mild than the Chieftain. But anyhow, about 5 and lower. Uh, I like that that uh, uh, window, that level of aggression for my shave, it works best for me. So if you're in the same category as I am, uh, really check out this razor. This is, this is wonderfully mild, beautifully efficient, and we're going to see what kind of feedback we get. Uh, here is my Allen Block from Phoenix Shaving with the no slip grip. Dry dock system, going to run under some cold water. And I have a new, I have an absolutely new, um, I have a new Allen Block in the wings, but this one is still holding up, so I'm going to continue to use it. There it is, cold water, here we go. Wow, no stinging, no zinging. Nice and smooth, tells me that there's no irritation or no undue irritation at all. Maybe just a little zing right there. Nothing to write home about. Boy, that's terrific. Nice bracing. It's called, it's called, it could also be a little bit of bracing. I might mistake a, a little zing for a little bit of bracing. Okay, so there it is, as I show you, the dry dock system. Nicely ventilated. Just drop your Allen block in there, and it will go ahead and dry out from the uh, air circulating in the room. All right. Uh, had enough for three shaves, and, uh, oh yeah, had enough for probably a, a touch-up, maybe even a fourth pass, but I'm going to clean the brush, and uh, I'll be back to uh, finish this shave, so uh, finish the shave and talk about the razor, obviously, so hang in there with me. All right, yeah, terrific. Really a favorite brush. I haven't used it in a while. And uh, just forgot how nice of a brush this is. 24 millimeter knot, I believe. And it just has a nice synthetic knot and a uh, nice size handle. I dare say I could probably travel with this uh, very easily uh, because of the size. Good for daily driver at home. 
and also nice for travel. So I'm just going to set it aside right there. Actually, I could just probably put it in my razor stand right like that, ready to go. Okay. That's my Vikings Blade Admiral stainless steel razor stand. Okay, so let's get some of this uh, Oud Spice. Oh, that's marvelous. What a great scent. What a great, great scent. That's terrific. And a little bit of Astro Traveler aftershave bulb. I like the, uh, well, it's a star jelly. Um, I interchangeably refer to it as aftershave bulb, star jelly. Phoenix Shave, Phoenix Shaving calls it a star jelly. So if I say aftershave bulb, forgive me. Six of one, half a dozen the other. Um, gonna need a head shave, but I also like to just apply this to my head after every shave, whether I'm doing a head shave or a face shave, because we're in dry skin season and there's a lot of good food, a lot of good, a lot of good skin food in these star jellies. So it uh, it's helpful to my skin. Great shave. Love this razor. This is the first time I'm using this razor too. I might have forgotten to mention that. This is right out of the box. My first use with this razor. And uh, it's a winner. It really is. This, this is a wonderfully mild yet efficient razor. Uh, loving, loving these mild razors that I'm coming across here um, to review on this channel. This is another one. And of course, love this low profile head. As I say, uh, this would be great for a beginner wet shaver, a young man, who uh, maybe just one pass is all you need because you're a young guy. And I know, when I was a young guy, 16, 17, 18 years old, if I was doing the wet shave, I would be one pass and it would probably be good for, you know, several days. And uh, the fact that it has a low profile head allows you to get into those tight areas where you have to remove whisker. So again, you could just do one pass like this underneath here, and maybe a little bit like that touch up, and you're done. Uh, really, very maneuverable razor head. End tabs are enclosed in the razor head, which is terrific. Love the scalloped cap. 316L stainless steel flare tip series, 3.77 ounces. You can also, again, use it as a short handled razor. Uh, you know, this is the kind of razor I am so taken with the the design and the shave, the look, the heft, the feel of it. Um, I'm probably going to buy another one. That's how much I like this razor. Uh, because I'm afraid if I travel with something like this, which would be a great travel razor for, for me because of the quality of the shave I get with it, uh, boy, I would just be heartbroken if I lost this. Knowing that I had one at home to fill in that void would be great. So yeah, I just might, I just might do that. Well, that's it. Thanks very much for tuning in again. Please share, please subscribe, please like. Hit that bell so it'll give you a yellow the next time I upload a video. Comment below, let me know. Check out the Executive Shaving Company. Use the code MARK5. Check out my blog, georgetune.com slash blog for my comic strip George, other cartoons, other videos like this. I'm on Facebook. Check out my Facebook page. Check out Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements for some great, great shaving gear. The Metaphor Razor. 316L stainless steel, flare tip series, low profile razor head. Uh, it's just a winner. Really a wonderful, wonderful razor. Check out Global Shave Clubs International for some great shaving gear. Check out my Amazon product page at Amazon.com slash shop slash Mark's Rating where you'll find all the products I review on this channel. Organize and categorize so you can find everything in a snap very easily. Thanks very much for tuning in again. I really do appreciate it. I'll see you again real soon.